Raptor Maps, um, you know, build, build software for the solar industry. And our product is a performance platform uh, that provides actionable um, and digital tools to identify why solar sites underperform uh, and then trigger and manage uh, operational workflows, remediation workflows to, to fix these types of issues. But as a company that doesn't have, you know, all the resources, of maybe like a big tech company, our ability to actually do that was probably on the order of a year. Um, so when yeah. adopting uh, V7, we can greatly uh, increase that speed and make it down to the order of a month. In 2015, I think the most widely like labeling tool you could use was Mechanical Turk. There weren't that many even good like annotation tools. You had to really build them yourself. There was folks uh, out there like V7 that really said, how can you build the best uh, annotation tool to get people to the automated future we want? So uh, we were at the point where um, there's more advanced use cases we want to do. We either need to go in and rebuild all of these tools, uh, or we can go out to the market and see what what's out here. So that's when we said, instead of doing that, let's let's just like hop onto the latest and greatest with teams that are building, um, you know, tools that we can easily use and easily ramp up on, and and uh, will be much better than what we could build in house because we need to focus on you know the problems in our market. Oh. You're like should our ml engineers be spending time like actually labeling all of the data uh and so for us um to to go from our r d teams doing this um to okay now we can work with v7 and accelerate that uh that's been really useful as we speed up the iteration loop it, it opens up what products we can build right so it becomes less of the r and d team just like sitting over there and like trying to think about what would be the latest and greatest to a customer saying hey we saw this new unique thing um is there a way to detect this automatically it's kind of complicated we haven't seen it before so if you can go from a customer telling you that to then having a product that actually does what they said in the matter of months um that, that's just a huge unlock for, for the solar industry. Um, and then being able to repeat that iteration cycle, that just opens up more and more of the use cases that uh, robotics can do. So um, that that's where I'm like most excited for uh, for seeing that and where V7s help us increase that, that iteration loop speed. Like the human in the loop type design, you can see on, a, on like a systems diagram essentially Okay, what's going to pass through an ML model? When's a person going to get involved to annotate that? There's a quality review check. Uh, and you can really like diagram out that feedback loop um, that I think is really important in, in these pretty complicated, uh, you know, human loop uh, processes. So for us as engineers and thinking about that, uh, we thought that was like a really cool feature. Um, and, and then you can see stats on stuff too, like how time has people spend labeling on stuff like that. They would make it more efficient. Um, all these things are just, you know, right there on the platform. That's where it was, uh, you know, where we were like, okay, V7's the, the choice for us.